So you want to learn how to create engaging social media videos. Amazing, because by the end of this video, you're going to learn all the tips and tricks to create social media videos for any and all platforms. I'm going to show you how to resize your videos, add captions, sound waves, and cool editing tricks such as transitions and overlays like this and this. I'm going to show you how to do all of this using Veed's online editing platform. And best of all, you don't need an editing degree to create epic, engaging videos. It's extremely fast, simple, and fail-proof. So let's get started. Now, when it comes to creating social media videos, here are my top tips. Always provide value to your audience. How-to videos, hacks and tips, inspirational glow-up videos, and anything that's entertaining, such as pranks or comedy, these all offer value and perform the best. Use trending sounds within the first week that they start trending. So when you're scrolling through Instagram Reels or TikToks, you'll tend to notice the same few songs keep popping up. This is a good indication that you need to hop on that sound right away. Keep your videos short and sweet. Don't waffle. Tell your viewers what to expect from the video, deliver it and wrap it up. We don't need to know what day of the week it is, the weather and what you had for breakfast. Always add subtitles. Now research is showing that more and more people are watching videos on mute. So if you don't add captions or subtitles, chances are those people will scroll right past your video and you've lost a potential viewer, follower or subscriber. Always add subtitles. Upload your video to numerous platforms. So you wanna expand your network across all social media platforms because people can't subscribe to something they don't even know exists. So share your content, all the platforms, and increase your audience. Don't forget to do SEO research. Now, this is especially important when it comes to YouTube. You could create a masterpiece, but it's not ranking in search because you didn't do adequate keyword research. Due to this, YouTube's algorithm has really no idea what your video is about, so it kind of gets lost in the sea of thousands of other videos. Lastly, thumbnails. Thumbnails play a massive part in the success of your YouTube videos. Which video are you more inclined to click on? See what I mean? Your thumbnails need to grip your audience. Think of your thumbnail as your video trailer. This is the very first impression that you make on a viewer. All right, now you know all the tips for creating social media videos. Let's go ahead and create our own video. So to get started, just click the first link in the description. Now we're in Veed, we're gonna click upload a file, choose the video that we wanna use for our social media video, and then just give that a minute to upload. Now, if you have a second video here that you would like to add, just go ahead and click add media above the timeline and repeat the same process. Next, we're gonna resize our videos to fit any social media platform. So in settings here, you'll see size. And if you click down, you can choose any of these options to fit whichever social media platform that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to choose Instagram square one to one ratio. And if I click on the video now, I can choose to fit or fill the canvas. Now, if you've chosen to fill the canvas and you find it's too zoomed in, very simple, just click fit to canvas and then just use your sides and corners to adjust and make sure you don't crop out any important footage. And again, just repeat this process for any remaining clips. Now, if you need to trim your videos, it's very simple. Just go ahead, play your video, hit pause at the point that you want to make your cut, click split, click on the part that you want to delete, right click on it, and then click delete. You can now drag your next clip forward and just repeat this process anywhere else that you want to make a cut. And once we're finished making cuts, we can now add transitions. So you can see there's a white box between each clip with a line in the middle. If you click that, that will open up transitions. And here you can just have a play around and choose whichever one works for you. Now it's time to add subtitles. So just click subtitles in the left hand corner, choose auto subtitle, choose your language and click create subtitles. Subtitles. Now we're going to give that a minute here to generate our captions and once it's done you will see our captions appear above the video in the timeline. We're going to check here for any errors where it might have misheard, misinterpreted any of the words that we've said. If that has happened, very simple fix, just click on the word that's wrong, delete it and type out the correct word. Perfect. Now we can change the duration of the subtitles by dragging them in and out and we can also use the stopwatches too. If you'd like to style your captions, just go ahead and click the styles tab and now we can change the font, the size and the color. Moving on to sound waves here, we're going to head to elements in the left hand column. We're going to scroll down to sound waves and click view all. Now again, you can just choose whichever one you like the best and once you've done that, position it on the video. Now we just need to make sure that is across our entire timeline and then if we click play, we can see it in action. Now the last editing trick that I'm going to show you is how to add filters and overlays. So in the left hand column, click filters and under color grading here, we've got lots of different filters for you to try out. Choose whichever one you like. And once you've done that, hit the effects tab. And in here, we've got some really cool overlays such as VHS and glitch. Again, you can just test them out and choose the one that you like best. Now it is time to render and export our video. So click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings and click export once more. It's going to take a moment or two here just to render our video. We're going to watch it through all the way just to make sure that we're really happy with it and there's no mistakes or errors that we want to correct. And once we've done that, we can click download and download MP4. 
And that's it. That is how to create epic, engaging social media videos. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content, and leave me any comments or questions down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.